my God, my mind is exploding. Are you feeling very attacked? I'm feeling very attacked. You guys, we are here with Laganja Estranja, the one and only. Oh, crrr. That's called stamina, baby. You should imagine the head I give. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, now I am. <laughs> um, what are you looking forward to doing today? What's your number one thing to do at DragCon? My favorite thing to do at DragCon is to go to all my sister's booths and collect their enamel pins. Ever since last DragCon, I have been collecting these pins. I got a whole jacket at home, and I just love it. I love the you know supporting of one another, and I love to show my drag pride. Um, I can't wait to see that look, that yes. jacket. It's uh, pretty con. <laughs> can I pay tribute to you and just throw props to you? Because when Adam Joseph came out with uh, the Linda Evangelista song, you performed it like a couple minutes later. It was on Instagram and YouTube and all of that. How did you do that so fast? Well, I have got to give credit to my amazing and incredibly talented friend, Got Mick. That's G-O-T-T-M-I-K. If you don't know who she is, she is an incredible makeup artist. And she actually heard the song. You know, she's very young. She's 21. She's up on the scene. Unlike this older more established lady and she found the song and she was like Ganja you have to do this and when I heard it I said you know what? we got to do it tonight because if anybody's going to do it it's going to be me and I'm going to make sure I get on it before anyone else tries to be as cunty as me because I had that wig I had the whole thing just waiting for that moment so I'm so happy that he created such a iconic song and that I got to bring it to life yeah it's honey. my most viewed video on YouTube oh, it's crazy it's incredible yeah now, I'm a marijuana enthusiast. Um, I have a question for you. Since you're an expert, you're like in the biz, essentially, you know, like for real. What's a good marijuana for someone who is, you know, I get, this is the question I get most about marijuana. Uh, from people who are a little bit older than us, maybe sure. in their 60s, who are sure. looking for the type of weed that made them just giggle when they were younger in, the, in that time. What would you recommend to those people? I think cannabis is really important. Uh, for me, it's a medication, first and foremost. And I think it's really important that we recognize the medical properties that cannabis has. Um, it's my job as a drag queen and as an LGBTQ activist to change the stamina out there of potheads. Um, believe it or not, I'm very active. I'm very aware. Uh, I'm very put together. And I'm not one of those kids who just gets high and sinks into the couch like you see on TV. Um, so what I would suggest for people who are just kind of trying to figure out what works for them, it's Start small, you know, start with something not so fierce, not so hydroponic and grown with crystals. And, you know, you can start with something more natural. I'm from Texas, so I grew up on what we call swag, which is like literally just like dirty weed from Mexico, baby. And that's the kind you need to start with if you're not used to, you know, high quality products. But I also suggest edibles for people who don't enjoy smoking or ingesting through, uh, you know, intake like that. But the thing with edibles is they're kind of hard to gauge on how fierce they'll affect you. So I always say, you know, start with about five milligrams. Uh, one of my favorite companies, uh, Kiva, makes really great products at a small, you know, milligramage. And yeah, I say start small and then go big. That's excellent advice. Yes. Um, let's talk about music because I find myself saying to myself in my head all the time, legs overhead like a pretzel. Oh, yay. I'm so glad you know my one of three singles. Are Thank you. you. Is there going to be a fourth single? There is going to be a fourth single. I am currently working on it right now. Um, my dream is to totally have an EP one day. I would love to be a rap star. Missy Elliott is my biggest inspiration. I love rap music. I love hip hop, uh, underground culture. So I'm hoping that one day I'll eventually have enough money like Miss Adora and could put out an EP, but until then, I'm going to at least put out a single every year so y'all can keep, you know, jamming to ganja. Hooray! Uh, last thing, last two things. Okay. You had one of the most epic Hey Queen episodes of all time. Looking back on that experience, do you, how do you feel about it? Did it help you? Yes, I would say that Hey Queen completely changed my life. Um, I remember when I told Alyssa Edwards that, she was like, oh girl, you're being so ridiculous. How did that TV show change your life? But it really did, you know. Uh, it gave people an opportunity to see the man behind the woman, uh, the creature behind the mask, and I think it really revealed my heart that I wear on my sleeve every day. And I think those people who really sat there and watched all 25, 28 minutes saw that, you know, there was so much more you didn't see of me on season six. And I just am really thankful that I had an opportunity opportunity in a platform such as Hey Queen to spill my truth, to have fun with it, to, you know, have that Lindsay Lohan moment. I'll never forget when y'all put out the commercial and the heartbeat was in the back and it was so <laughs> dramatic and I was crying and I just thought like, yeah, this is it. Like, this is what I've always dreamed of being. And uh, I just thank Johnny and the whole team for giving me that opportunity to, to just be real. 
Hey Queen loves you. And I love Hey Queen and Hot Tea and all the spinoffs. You guys are amazing. And I'm, I'm thankful that we have something like you guys in the LGBTQ community because I think the show's not only fun and fabulous, but it really is putting, you know, us on the market out there and, and having... Uh, or giving people a platform to have a voice. So I, I'm thrilled to to be here with Hey Queen today, and I can't wait to see where you guys go in the future. I think it's about time y'all get on real TV. Not that there's anything wrong with YouTube, but I think it's time we finally give, you know, Mr. McGovern his own show, because he deserves it. Hello. And Miss Lady Red Couture, too. Shout out to her, girl. Where's the chicken? I'm hungry. You better have some for me backstage. <laughs> and some weed, too, because you know she my, she my ganja Judy. I want to look at her. I want you to let us... Look at her outfit, and I want you to give us a title. Ready? Look at her. Banana, Jamama, Jamama, Ya Mama. She's mint, she's green, she's clean, she's mean. Ow. Uh, How was that? <laughs> that was perfect. I couldn't have asked for anything better. I love you, Laganja. Love you too. Thank you thank so you. much. Have and so much fun today. I hope you meet lots of fools. All right, thank you. And I'll meet you for a hit later. Okay, down. See you in the alley.